welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here hello and welcome my name is Aina and so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my pictures YouTube thumbnails and Instagram pictures okay and just in, so just in case you're wondering why you you just can't take good pictures or why your pictures don't turn out to be um, like your favorite celebrities or YouTube or social media influencers I'm going to be showing you that we edit our pictures and I'm going to be showing you guys I'm going to be showing you guys how we do that okay so there is so many picture editing app but the one I use specifically is Beauty Plus and I use it because it's very well it's it's very simple to use very easy and good so the, there are 1001 app picture editing apps to use there is Facetune, Snapseed, Lightroom, you know, name them. There are so many of them, but you can decide to use the one that you like. But in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how the one I use, which is Beauty Plus, and how I edit my pictures. So the first thing I do is open my app, which is the Beauty Plus app, and I go to gallery, that's photos. I pick out the picture that I want to use and I just um, bring it onto the app and I'll start editing just the way you're seeing right now and this is one of the pictures I already took uh, took pictures after my makeup tutorials so I'll just start editing so the first thing I do is go to retouch all right yeah and I um, press the smooth features I use the smooth features to smooth in my makeup if you want to make it essence but the first thing you have to make sure that your makeup is flawless and very well blended and very beautiful so you don't need too much of you know the editing just a little touch so next I go to my nose I try to narrow it a little bit all right and next is the under cycle the under eye the dark cycles I don't have dark cycles but I'm just showing you guys that you can use that and next is the contour I just click on the contour button without increasing it because I already contoured my nose and the contour is okay and next I go to uh, makeup what I want to do is my lipstick I want to try and increase the intensity a little bit okay so I'm just scrolling back and forth so that you guys can see how well just look at the leaves you can see that I'm increasing it but I don't want it to change into a different color if you move the arrows back it's going to reduce the intensity of your makeup and if you move it to the front front it's going to increase the intensity of your makeup so I'm just trying to like move it front to the front a little just a little bit and not overdo it all right and then I will just move to I'll press the OK button and then move to my eyebrows so I'm just going to press the next one which is the darker one but not too dark then I'll just increase it because when I smooth in my face my whole makeup the some of the my pencil or my brows got um somehow got um little bit removed is showing it's making it look scanty and all that so you can see this how it is so I just increase my eyeshadow and my under eyes eyeshadow shadows under my eyes and on top okay you can see it I'm trying to bring the video closer the picture closer so you guys can see the difference okay so after which I'm adding um, I'm still doing it but after which I'm going to add some little a little blush on my cheeks if you don't want to you can skip that part now you can see that my under eyes and my and my eyeshadow is more intense and is looking very vibrant and very beautiful so next I'll go to the editing part of this app which is edit you can crop if your picture is not closer but I already cropped my pictures down before doing these tutorials so you didn't see me crop it you can see the crop button close to your left hand side and when you press your edit so I'm going to go over to highlight I just increased the highlight those areas I highlighted I want them to pop and cooler and temp I don't know what that is but I just know that it increases the color under your neck and to, to correspond with your face and this is saturation I think this just make it you know look all vibrant around and next is contrast um, the contrast is just to give it a very nice tuning 
okay that's just the way you guys are seeing it now and that's majorly what i use and how i use them i think that is all and but you can play around with the app and see what else you like to do so all these ones i've used are free version it has a paid version if you want more of the futures and you want to see more futures you can pay so this is the before and after you can spot the difference and so guys we've come to the end of this video if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up like share comment and subscribe i'll see you guys again in the next one